Hello YouTube, it's March 24th, 2013, and uh, we are experiencing the clearest, I'm talking about almost no defined formations in the sky. There have been several sprayers up today. Uh, there's a silver haze. I mean, it's it's and it's blue over on the hills. So we we're, we have a a haze, but for most of the people that aren't looking at this silver sky, they would mistake this for a perfectly clear day. Um, I'd like to start this uh, screencast by talking about my uh, this particular uh, video that I'm showing you here. It's called A Quantum Leap UFO Filled Sky Leads to Amazing New Discoveries. And it's by Rick Kane and Associates, I believe in it. And I'd like to give a shout out to these people. Um, the sky, to, to my knowledge, has been full of these things for a long time. And they show up in your photographs. Uh, and this is a very strange, I guess the fairy creature, uh, as crazy as it sounds, that they caught among all these orbs. Um, so I'd like to give a shout out to, the, to, to this video and to ask people to go and have a look at it because what I'm about to show you, uh, again, it's Rick Kane and it's a, a quantum leap, UFO filled sky leads to amazing new discovery. It's not exactly an amazing new discovery. Uh, I think a lot of us have captured these orbs in the sky you know, and I'm, I want to connect them up to the sprayers for some reason here because, you know, it's a given that these orbs are there and many people have captured them. This uh, this channel has done an exceptional job of this, though. And as, as you go through the video, you give it a little bit of time and you'll see the amazing uh, results they're getting, I think, by using a very bright flash. Uh, you know, and here's an example of one of them I'd like to stop at. Okay, so I'd just like to stop it and, and, and wind it back for a second here a little bit and stop it because there's some incredible photographs in here um, of the skies the way they are. Let me just back it up a little bit here. Um, so these fellows have done an exceptional... There's some extraordinary captures like this one um, and, uh, you know, you just have to go and watch the video uh, to get a grasp of this, but but you see, I avoid the night sky, and uh, you know, in this video, I'm going to try to connect these millions of life forms that seem to be superior to us. They don't require food and uh, water and shelter and so on from climate conditions. They are huge to, to very tiny, um, and there are literally millions of them in the air around us all the time. So you could go and see this video, and now I want to, you know, so what I did was I took my little camera out, and I don't have a bright flash yet, a really bright flash, but I took my little camera outside at night over my place because I get a lot of activity in the skies and the cloud formations and the sprayers here. And since it's been clear the last couple of days, as clear as it's ever been in months, um, we're getting lots of sprayers, but they're the short trails and they leave the yellow haze, which is slowly filling up the sky. It's turning white-yellow now. Uh, we're nowhere near the end of our day, but uh, they've obscured at least half of the light with just this mist. Uh, so uh, what I'm going to do is take you to some photographs now that will show you a similar thing and, and recommend you go see this Rick Kane video because it's really out there right now and it's it's sort of a, something that I think we might be able to tie into all of this. Okay, so here's one of many photographs I've taken. chalked this up to some kind of condensation on my lens, but it's actually them when you, uh, the uh, video that I referred you to earlier you'll see that it's a very similar skyscape we're also looking at a sprayer deacon over behind the trees here I want to keep them in, in the conversation here uh, there's a reason for that because I think these orb things that seem to be taking up our, our entire atmosphere now and maybe always have and you know are connected to the sprayers but let me say this that when you have a, you know, I, I believe that uh, some people, including uh, the, uh, the channel that has made this recent excellent capture of these things, I, I believe that, you know, they are suggesting in some ways, and it's a good theory, I believe, that, uh, that these things are ultimately 
uh, and may even be the souls of our dead. In other words, heaven is right there. And, you know, I, I give some credibility to this. I've had this notion, you know, when I see the myriad of them like I have uh, many times, I, uh, I find that, that I, I get this strange feeling. Oftentimes the bizarre cloud formations, which are also seem to be something to do with these literally millions or billions of orbs that we're looking at in the sky. So I go outside last night with my little flash and I take a couple pictures up into the sky and I think you can see what I'm showing you along the sort of the top of these photographs here. Um, the very same thing with w without a near as uh, clear of uh, yet because I plan on getting brighter flash and higher resolution to do this. This is, you know, this is just a confirmation of what, what this video has shown you. Um, you know, here's a case where there's a few up in here and you can't see them very well. If I come right in, there's a yellow one actually right in the tree there. You know, this is not my digicam creating all these things. Uh, you know, it, they're there and uh, we have to face that fact that there is a, there are entities that appear like stars as these do. But I, I know I can't photograph stars with my camera on a regular mode like I did. I just went out in program mode and and, uh, and shot it with autofocus. Um, here's two more here that I can bring you in on a little bit. The sky wasn't full of them on this side, but I went out to the other side. You see what they look like? They're they're beings and uh, they're energy orbs, whether it's dimensional or whether they actually live here in our world. But they are not life forms like we understand. See, like here, there was just a couple. There was one here and one up in this corner. And these really bright ones, uh, I haven't got any of these yet, but I soon will. Uh, they look like a moon or something, but they aren't. There's no moon in this photograph. So I want to show you some more photographs I took out the other direction. Now, here's one I took, and it shows you the large ones as well. There's one there, and then there's several smaller ones along the top there. But, but if you look... You can see one at the very left of the screen here, too. This is not a building. This is the top of the building with a satellite. This is one of them, as well as this large one. And there's several more that you can see spattered up here. I had to just reduce the light shadows up to where you could see them. And this is a shot looking south. And you can see, again, that this is not my camera. The, sky, the flash is picking these things up. The sky is full of them. They're huge. They're tiny. And uh, it's just a fact now. What are they? They have some very interesting looks, and when you go in on them, they seem to maintain without pixelation for quite a while their bizarre coloring and appearance. Um, very cool stuff at night. I'm going to really work on this a bit because it's just amazing, really. And here's another picture of the sky pretty much full of them, and they are various sizes, and there are literally millions of them, people. That is what your air is composed of day and night, right now. They are there, by the billions, perhaps. Are they the souls of the dead? I don't know. Are they E.T.? Are they some kind of a plague that's been released on us by the lizards who want to darken the surface? We've had two of the best days we've had in months here for clarity. And, uh, you know, I'm really grateful for what we have had. But uh, the, the, the fact is that the haze is is this this is what the haze is is them by the billions and they are uh, they are real now this up here at the right hand side it's a huge one that seems to hang around all the time you can see just basically you know the quality i'm, I'm going to work on this night stuff but there, this one here is not the moon it is one of them and it seems to hang around all the time um i've got a photograph of it here that it moves out into the open somewhat and there it is right there from where it was here there's another one here but uh, you know I'm going to be doing some night work on these things because they're just they're the most amazing aspect of this and now I want to go to the orbs that are coming out of the sprayers because you know we're back to orbs again here big time and it's kind of where the whole thing started and uh, you know no matter what shapes we're seeing up there these orbs are definitely present by the billions 
and they're right down to the smallest nano quantum sizes right up to massive things swarms perhaps but massive you see this photograph I showed you is facing the back and you can see the large one and the smaller ones a different array but the one here is here again and it was around the front of the the building as well is it the same one I don't know but there's these large ones and small ones and once again I will tell you there are millions of them okay so this is a spray line that I'm tracking up across the sky it's those pencil thin ones that have so much amazing detail that there's just no way they're at anywhere near five to six miles cruising altitude but anyway so I'm, I'm, I'm following this uh, this trail last last year and I'll stop here and show you that there are orbs very apparent orbs in this trail um, I'll just keep following it up a little bit not to mention that none of this could be the product of an aerosol but here's the here's the thing they're either interacting or they are in fact reproducing the or relocating or replicating whatever you want to call it and I've got so much documentation that what's coming from these sprayers is not anything but more of these orbs and for some reason certain times certain light just like using your flash at night they become visible even within these trails now I've done nothing to this this is unenhanced photography but I, I, if you can't see the orbs that are, are forming in these lines then let me show you a couple more photographs to make my point okay actually what the hell let me show you the live video okay so we're going up this, this bizarre spray line and you see what would be a ring or an orb but you only see one or two as you go up here as I go back down, and some of my subs have seen this video uh, before, you'll notice that there's lots of them there, and it's almost like a chain link of them. Okay? So, there are orb structures in all of these lines. None of this, these donuts could be created by a sprayed gas that had no uh, conscious or, or uh, otherworldly capabilities. Um, I'll show you a couple more photographs here. I've taken photographs, especially of these pencil line ones, many times. And within them all, you'll see lines and you'll see wispy things. But you always see orbs in them too. Um, for example, this one here. And, you know, there, there's no denying what you're seeing here, in my opinion. Regardless of what else we see in the sky, um, what we've got here is orbs replicating somehow you know is there good and bad guys up there is there a war going on I don't know if I was a lizard and I was in the in the earth and an alien presence was coming into our solar system that might be uh, you know uh, rival them for their slavery of the planet or whatever I would want to retake the surface to defend myself but you see, if I was a human living in a cave, it wouldn't take long for me to get sick and die. And if I was a lizard living on the surface, or a hybrid, it wouldn't take very long for me to get sick and die with the sun. So you darken the planet. That kind of makes sense to me anyways. I just thought I'd throw that out there. You know, could there be another presence coming into the, uh, the, the uh, shall we say, the battle theater here? I, I, I don't know. Um, but I, I do sense that there could there is a possibility that these orbs are in fact very alien ancient and not of our uh, uh, ET presence it's just a question of what their purpose is you know do they just sit float around the sky and look all pretty and uh, and look at us well I, I, I don't think that's the case because they're growing in numbers and it's costing us somehow our skies. Now let me take you back up to the top here to finish this off, okay? You know, for instance, how these bell-shaped craft and these things that look like discs and pyramids and how they fit into all of this with the orbs, I don't know either. It's just so big, right? And I just reduced the shadows on this and brought up the contrast and you've got your flying disc almost perfect, just missing this part. I mean, it, it's all too unreal. And the sky is full of beautiful colored orbs to boot. 
so that's where we are. the planet is dying and we're all here watching this show.